lecture we are going to see the aretension multi range ammeter in the previous lecture we have seen a shunt type multi range ammeter shunt type means where the resistors are connected individually for every range suppose if you are taking i1 range one particular resistor is there and i2 range one particular resistor is there but in the case of aretension shunt multi range ammeter we have taken cascaded connection of multiple resistors where all these resistors are connected in parallel with the meter you can take any number of resistors depending upon the ranges okay in this example we have taken three resistors for three ranges so this is the range i3 and this is the range i2 and this is the range i1 okay when i1 is selected the switch is particularly connected to this first position so i1 range is selected and r1 is the resistor that comes in parallel with the series connection of r2 r3 and then rm okay we will see how the circuit looks like for each and every connection when the switch is connected to third position when switch is connected to second position when switch is connected to first position what will be the circuit diagrams you will draw one by one okay here in the r tension multi range voltmeter cascaded connection of resistors we have taken and all these resistors must be connected in parallel with the meter all these a group of resistors all these resistors from here to here from here to here all these group of resistors so for four ranges four different resistors we have to take all these must be in parallel with the meter okay that means so original nature original behavior of the ammeter should not violate let us see what happens when switch is connected to first position second position third position like that that means when switch is connected to first position when switch is connected to first position means here when switch is connected to first position means here what happens how the circuit looks like see when switch is connected to first position r1 will be here and what about r2 and r3 r2 and r3 comes in series with the meter so this is r2 and this is r3 this is the meter so this is r1 r2 r3 and this is rm then there is a series connection of resistors existed on the opposite arm so r2 plus r3 plus rm whereas this is r1 so the current flowing through this r1 is let it be ish and the current flowing through this one is im and the current coming from this one is i1 because we have selected the first position okay how can we write the equation now r1 into ish because voltages are equal in parallel r1 into ish is equal to what is the current flowing through the second arm im into what is the total resistance of that arm r2 plus r3 plus rm this is the equation in this one for the first position okay <laughs> now let us see what happens in the second position when switch is connected to the second position see when switch is connected to the second position that means here what happens here r2 and r1 are in series whereas r3 and rm again are in series so let us see how the circuit looks like so we have two resistors are there and here one resistor in series with the meter this is the switch position what is the current coming here i2 and the current flowing through this group is ish and the current flowing in this way is im this is r2 and this is r1 and this is r3 and the internal resistance is rm and the current is im okay now how we can write the equation ish into ish is the current shunt current flowing through the resistors r1 and r2 r1 plus r2 is equal to im is the current that is flowing through the second arm r3 plus rm r3 plus rm this is the second equation 
And now coming to the third position, when switch is connected to third position, what happens? All three resistors R1, R2, R3 are in series, whereas this series connection comes in parallel with the meter. So same circuit, but there is no this is second line and first line. So circuit appears to be same. And the, what is the current flowing coming here? It is I3 because it is the third range I3 and the current flowing this through this arm is ISH. Here the current is IM only. So we can write the equation as ISH into R1 plus R2 plus R3 is equal to IM into RM. This is the third equation. Now, in this R and shunt for three ranges like I1, I2, I3, three unknown values are there R1, R2, R3. So, for these three unknown values, three different equations are there. So, if we solve three equations, we will get these three unknown values. Very, very simple. So, let us do a problem on this one. Very, 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 very important. This problem is very important in the examination point of view. Definitely, you will get this r and shunt in the examination. So, design an r and shunt to provide an ammeter with a current range of 0 to 1 milliampere, 10 milliampere, 50 milliampere, 100 milliampere. A dr sonwell movement with an internal resistance of 100 ohms. Internal resistance is given under scale, the full scale current of 50 microamperes is used okay so this is the circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram we can draw from the basic standard circuit diagram here how many current ranges are given 1 milliampere to 10 milliamperes 50 milliamperes 100 milliamperes means four current ranges are given so for four current ranges four resistors we have to take that's why r1 r2 r3 and r4 and these are the current ranges 1 10 50 and 100 milliamperes Okay, now let us write the equations. Let us write the equations. Very simple. Just some analytical part is there, but it is not much difficult if you practice. It is very, if you know the network concepts, how to solve the uh, equations and how to write the equations from the circuit, it is very easy. Now, when switch is connected to 1 milliampere, let us consider when switch is connected to 1 milliampere current range. So, how can we write the equation? First equation is equation 1 R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 into ISH is equal to because all those four resistors are left hand side only when we are selecting 1 milliampere. And on the right hand side what we have IM into RM. IM into RM. So how we can write the ISH? ISH we know. What is ISH? ISH is equal to I minus IM. I minus IM. So that is equal to what is I? What is the value of I means? I means here I1. That is 1 milliampere minus 1 milliampere minus. What is the value of IM? 50 microamperes is given. 50 microamperes is given. So we can write it as 950 microamperes because it is 1000 micro. We can write 1000 minus 50, 950 microampere. So therefore, first equation we will get R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 is equal to IM into RM. 50 micro into what is RM value? RM is equal to 100 ohms divided by here it is into ISH. Here it is 950 micro ampere. So if you simplify this, you will get the value 5.26 ohms. 5.26 ohms. Take it as first equation. Take it as first equation. Coming to the second case, 
when switch is connected to 10 milliampere range when switch is connected to 10 milliampere range how can you write the equation 10 milliampere means r4 goes to the other side so r1 plus r2 plus r3 into ish that is equal to im is the current that is flowing onto the other uh, through the other bench so im into r4 plus rm r4 plus rm see this r4 goes in series with the meter resistance because we are selecting the range from here okay there is no line here so this r4 goes to the other arm now so how can you write i r1 plus r2 plus r3 is equal to im we know im what is im 50 micro ampere into r4 plus rm r4 we don't know this value plus rm 100 ohms divided by 950 is it 950 no in this case what is the ish value in this case what is the ish value ish is equal to i minus im what is i my i value here 10 milliamperes minus 50 micro so 10 milliamperes minus 50 micro how we can write 10,000 minus this one so we can write it as 10,000 minus this one means 9950 9950 microamperes so if you simplify this you will get Fifty microamperes into nine nine. It is nine nine five zero. Fifty microamperes into R four plus hundred divided by nine nine five zero. Okay. So here we can write R four. R four equal to hundred. See from this first equation, from the equation one, R one plus R two plus r3 is equal to how we can write this one 5.26 minus r4 so substitute this r1 plus r2 plus r3 here as 5.26 minus r4 now this entire equation is having a single unknown value as r4 so simply we can calculate r4 is equal to as 4.74 ohms Okay, very simple. Just using the previous equation, we have taken the notation R1 plus R2 plus R3 as 5 minus 2, 6 minus R4. So, we have got the first unknown value R4 is equal to 4.74. Coming to the switch is connected to, let us consider the switch is connected to, switch is connected to, where 50 milliamperes 50 milliamperes then how we can write the equation so 50 milliamperes means 50 milliamperes means here okay in that case r1 plus r2 are here and r3 r4 and rm are on the other side so r1 plus r2 into ish that is equal to im into r3 plus r4 plus rm okay now here only the unknown value is r3 on the right hand side r4 is known and rm is also known ish we can calculate ish is equal to i minus im okay so from this we can calculate r3 from the from this, using the previous notation, we can calculate R3 as 0 0.741 4 ohms. And similarly, when switch is connected to what is the other value? 100 milliamperes. Then the equation R1 into ISH that is equal to IM into 
now this r2 will also go to the other branch so r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus rm so simply we can calculate this r2 as the unknown voltage using the previous notation so we will get r2 as 0.0, .0 5 to 5 to ohms and using this r2 r3 and r4 if you you can simply calculate r1 i think r1 is also having the same value like r2 0 0.052 ohms if you substitute all these together in a, a first equation you will get this r1 okay Anal analysis part is somewhat taking much time but it is not uh, that much difficult it is very very easy okay when switch is connected to first position we need to write the equation left hand side are equal to right hand side and again when switch is connected to second position what are the equations which is connected to third and fourth positions what are the equations four equations are there four unknown values are there we can simply calculate okay our return shunt is very very important from the examination point of view thank you